All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room. Today we're going to be continuing our reading of Batman Arkham Knight prequel comics. So we are on number two. The official pre prequel to the Arkham Knight trilogy, Arkham trilogy finale. So let's take a look at this bad boy. The last will and testament of the Joker. <clears throat> well, I guess this didn't go well. Can't say I'm too surprised. I only wish I knew. Was it the Titan, old age, pissed off Arkham Knight? Or could it be the best way of all to meet my maker, my dear brother in arms, the man you fear to love and love to fear? B to the A to the T-Man. Or as I like to call him, my brother from another... <coughs> <clears throat> Tell me something. Have you ever had a really bad day? I have plenty of them. And look at me, still smiling. Now I know you're wondering, so... Let me tell you why I'm making this recording. Firstly, to pass on just a smidge of what I learned in hopes that understanding the things that make me me will help you be you a better you. And second, because I know this is probably my last time to talk to you know who, I mean, who else would watch this stuff when there's washed up movie and TV stars prancing and dancing their prizes on all those glorious channels. Now let's start with one question you're dying to know. <clears throat> Who the hell am I and what is my secret origin? Well, dear viewer, I'm a curious as you are, so let me give you give it to you straight. I was, thankfully, rocketed from a doomed planet that simply had no sense of humor. And looking back on it, no absurd, absorbent diapers either. From there I was raised by two rich circus clowns who had to kill one night on who I had to kill one night under the big top for forgetting their whoopee cushions and committing the carnal sin of Clowned them, failing to be funny. So basically, <laughs> childhood wasn't easy. Who's, whose is though? Am I right? What the world needs to know is that I taught myself all the important stuff after my parents' sudden demise. I studied, I worked, I mastered. And I promised myself something important. Joker, I said, never be the poor, sh poor schmuck strapped in a chain and chained to his destiny. Instead, I said, always be the guy doing the strapping. So armed with an easy disguisable, f disguisable philosophy. I finally made my way to the concrete crayons of Gotham, and for months plied my trade to the very low level. I was but an apprentice for urban mayhem and malevolence, until the day some of my work buddies got themselves into too much trouble. And I realized I had a front row seat to the greatest show in town. Let me tell you, kids. Almost every night there was something spectacular to see in the big G. You know how everyone over 60 remembers their, where they were when Kenny was shot, Kennedy was shot, or when Chester hit his 3,000, Jeter, Jeter hit his 3,000th hit. Or when they struggled, strangled their mother's best friend, and then their mother. That was my night every night. Kid in a candy store. 
I knew right then and there to appreciate it, because I understood that nothing lasts forever. And trust me, pals and gals, no one was more nothing than me. It's an amazing thing to realize your destiny. Naturally, I had to get started immediately. So I ran straight back to my deluxe apartment in the sky without missing a beat. Well, that's mostly true. Man's gotta have priorities, you know. As time flew lickety-split, I kept my mind in crayon shop, trying to get an image out of my head. Exhibiting a dedication to craft that has always served me well, I threw myself into my work. Believe me, Mr. Gladwell, I put in my 10,000 hours and then some. And in the end, I became the Renaissance man you see before you today. But alas, no artist is without his critics. And no critic can tell an artist what he does or doesn't already know about who he is. In that moment, I knew myself better than anyone. But I couldn't, let, couldn't yet see myself. So I needed a certain someone to help show me my own face. I needed to share all this newfound clarity with the one someone who knew exactly what life in all its green and purples could be. In the blustery, flustery cold, I made my move. And suffice to say, it wasn't all peaches and cream. But on the other hand, it wasn't perfect. It went perfect. Sure, mistakes were made, and there were certainly misunderstandings. I mean, what can I say? My buddy Bats talks with his hands a lot. In the end, me, you, help... In the end, he helped... He, you, helped me see myself as I truly am. The real me. And it was beautiful. Tell me something, have you ever had a really good day? Because I have. And it made the bad ones all worthwhile. Which finally brings me to now and my bequeath. I, Phineas B. Jokerstein III, being of <coughs> unsound mind and debiased body, doth hereby leave the city of Giddy Gotham a gift. See, I may be done in body and mind, but it's the spirit that still lives on. There's a big bomb ready to go off, but it's not the rattle and roll kind that makes a mess. This bomb is more subtle, silent but deadly. A last hug from your Uncle Joker from the great beyond. Who am I? Why am I? Yes, I am. So get ready for the boom shakalaka without the boom la choom. <laughs> Stop playback. I truly do not know how you managed to be in close proximity with such an evil human being, Master Bruce. Sometimes, neither do I, Alfred. But right now, all that matters is he's finally dead. And I've got one last mess of his to figure out and clean up before... Batman, I need your help. Commissioner, what is it? What's wrong? The bastard... Somehow he got me. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it hurts <laughs> so much. <laughs> Won't give that <laughs> pasty faced bastard <laughs> the satisfaction <laughs> of getting the last. <laughs> Commissioner! Deanie, call the doctor now!
Um, Lieutenant Cash. Looks like he may have already made a call. Where is he? Batman, do you know what's going on? I thought Joker was... Don't freaking move! Dean, put your damn gun down. What are you gonna do? Shoot the only... The one guy who can help us? But how do you know he's really... Guy saved my ass a half a dozen times this month. Believe me, I know it's... I don't have time for this. Cash, call New Blackgate. Tell them I'm on my way. And get somebody ready to see me. Gotham City Penitentiary, a.k.a. Blackgate Prison, or at least it was. It burned down a while back, but good old Gotham never likes to move on. They just love making the same mistakes in the same places. So like some washed up Hollywood actress over 40, or actually 30 if we're being honest, it came... In come the construction guys, and up goes the fresh coat of paint. We just gotta have faith that the future is gonna be better than the past. That's it, Doc. I'm cured. I can't be like this place. Just dolled up and smiling, stupid, hoping somebody sees just how much I miss my pudding. My jockey would want me, my jokey would want me to move on. Stop fresh. Not hang on to something just for posterity. But first things first, he'd tell me to get the hell out of here. Put a Reno by any means necessary. Quinn! Ah, my pudding's still looking out for me. Step back. Turn over the bed and get behind it. Hey! I just got this shirt. You figure I'm single now and you don't even have to ask me for a date. I'm an old-fashioned girl, you know. Shut up, Harley. Commissioner Silver Fox. Looks like he's got hit by ye oldie Joker Delight. But that... It's impossible, right? We all saw you murder my pudding. And it's why I'm gonna do the same to you first chance I get, rat man. <laughs> ah, nerds. Can't you leave a girl be? I just cured myself. For Christ's sake. Can't you tell? I said shut up. Hey, I know this place. Cash, I'm in Arkham City. We're on the roof of the Joker's hideout with Quinn as planned. Get here as soon as you can and watch Gordon and be ready for anything. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, get him out of here. All right, Quinn. Let's see just how cured you are. Whee! <laughs> Yee! Nice ride, Batsy. Joker already said you had soft hands. Now do me a favor and tell me what you want. Don't you know what games you and the... I don't know what games you and that demented clown still have hanging out there, but I'm sick of it. Ouch. This is where the two of you planned and worked for months while you were locked inside Arkham City. I know somewhere in here is a cure for the poison. I know there's something here that can help Commissioner Gordon. If there's any trace of humanity left inside you, Doctor, you'll help me find it. You're... you're right. I want to help because if I don't, if I keep letting good folks die, then what the hell is the real me gonna hang on to? I'm so sorry. What have I done? Quinn, I have no idea if you're being sincere, but... Downstairs, the sub-basement. That's where he kept it. I put the last batch of antitoxin down there myself, just before you... Before he, you know... There's an entrance grate in the control room next door. Quinn, 
I swear if you're lying, you'll live to regret it. I'm not, I promise. I just want to feel like myself again. Cash, I might have a 20 on an antidote. Keep going close, send someone to collect Quinn inside the funhouse. That was a good start, Harley. Every journey is a first step. And if you can't be completely honest right from the get-go, well, at least 50% will get you halfway there. Come on, Croconator. I brought you some snacks, and I lost my boyfriend. The least you could do is have a heart and hear me out. And hear me out. With my dear Jokey gone to the pearly gates, I got half this city looking for his body. But I know you ain't gonna leave this, these tunnels for no amount of anything. So what it, I'm hoping is you could look after a real unusual treasure I got stashed in a Joker and me's love shack. Change is in the air for all of us since Arkham City went kablooey and change stinks worse than a clay face fog. I know you ain't been feeling well, so I'm offering you some nice home cooking and a reason to get up in the morning. Plus, if it all goes according to me and my former pudding's plans, I'll be offering you a long-eared, gravel-voiced delicacy. Off of pretty much just doing what you were gonna be doing anyway. Now that's a meal you can't refuse. Today. Cash, it looks like Har Harley was right. There are severe, several drums of what looks like an antitoxin for the Joker's poison. Good to hear, because the commissioner ain't looking good. Stay close to Gordon. I'll be up in a... Croc, I'm not here for you, damn it. We don't need to fight. This ain't a fight, Batman. It's an execution. Your stupid tricks are nothing to me. Death stench still travels with you. Ah, uh, Guino, my man, you make these feet feel wonderful again. Which is good because the rest of me is pissed. Where does this trust fund fop get off acting like he's God's gift to Gotham? I'm in one pulling the strings on this on the streets. Wayne's worse than his parents. Why couldn't that damn mugger have popped the kid too? <clears throat> God damn it. I've got news, Mr. Cobblepot. Oi, did you hear your brother finally track down Scarecrow? I need him in my side immediately to help execute my plan. Not yet, but my brother's got the lead he's following. Then your news had better be good. The Lady Joker, she's downstairs asking for you. Quinn? Well, isn't that just a kick in the head? We know finish up my feet. <laughs> Quinn wanted this place protected, but I'm gonna smash you to paste with every last one of them instead. Batman, where the hell are you? Gordon's getting worse by the second. <laughs> Croc's tra trying to destroy the cure for Gordon. Did you say Croc? That freak took a piece of me. <laughs> Cash, you need to get Gordon down here for the antidote now. Christ. We're on our way. Ugh, ah, ah. 
but I'm definitely putting in for a race. <laughs> Going to snap you in two, Batman. Mind your leverage, Croc. Croc, Waylon, a good man's life is at stake. Bury your hatred, focus on your humanity. I need that cure. No such animal has as a good man. Your lives mean nothing to me, Batman. I'm going to pour this last canister down your throat, and you're going to drown knowing you let your good man die. Not going to happen, Croc. Well, look at that. They taught my... They taught my boots to talk. <laughs> huh? You... Back to feed me your other hand. Cash, save the canister. Wait, where are you? I'll find Batman and feast on his bones. My first dinner. <laughs> How'd you do that? One of the last, one of the ice blasts Freeze gave me to take on, take out the Joker. I had one left. <laughs> Don't have much time. Hold him down and pry his mouth open. <laughs> My face! <laughs> we know, it's killing us too. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. You almost made a... made half a joke. Send that backstabbing winch in. Well, it's about time. How long are you gonna think you think a girl's gonna wait? Since you and your boyfriend ripped me off several months ago, considering yourself lucky you aren't waiting on a slab of ice with that with an umbrella through your heart. Why are you wasting my valuable time? Let you know that Gordon and or Batman are probably dead as doornails. And even if they ain't, they ain't Know now that killing my pudding ain't gonna mean the end of nothing. I got lots of Joker's toys hidden all around. Gotham's changing, and I figure you, you and me, are the only ones left who know where the strings are on the puppet of, the t of a town. So let's be a hell of a lot smarter than the rest of these Arkham life lifers. And get to being friends. Holly, I have several plans for the city's future and the works, and they most certainly do not include you. We can fix that. Put it there, partner. All right, and that is all. So if you enjoy this and want to see more continue, me continue the rest of this series, then like and subscribe. And I will catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.